The Perkins 854F-E34T is a Tier 4 final 74 horsepower engine. It has a common rail fuel system that produces 20,000 PSI of fuel to the common rail. It's a Tier 4 final diesel engine with a common rail fuel system that utilizes a particulate matter catalyst. The PMC is not a wall flow filter, but a flow through filter that uses a diesel oxidation catalyst to increase exhaust system temperatures. Higher fuel pressure to the common rail equals less soot levels, but higher oxides of nitrogen levels, or NOx. The 854 engine performs multiple fuel injections from a single injector during each cylinder cycle. A post-injection from the fuel injectors on the exhaust stroke of the pistons assists with creating heat in the PMC and will reduce soot and NOx levels. Regeneration is required to control the soot levels collected in the PMC. Higher levels of soot in the PMC can be the result of an idling machine, multiple startups and shutdowns in a short period of time, low operating temperatures, and low levels of torque on the engine. The 854 engine determines the soot level in the PMC by a soot load map on the engine control unit. When the engine control unit determines a regeneration is required based on the soot load map in the ECU, the engine will begin to post-inject fuel into the exhaust stroke of the pistons. The raw fuel in the exhaust will chemically react to the DOC to increase exhaust temperatures and burn off the soot captured in the PMC. The 854 engine will perform a regeneration every 20 hours of engine runtime, regardless of the soot level calculated by the soot map in the ECU. The engine must reach operating temperatures in order to activate a regeneration. Engine coolant must reach temperatures of 140 degrees Fahrenheit to trigger an automatic regeneration. When engine coolant and operating temperatures have been met, regeneration will automatically activate. The high exhaust system temperature light will illuminate on the machine display. The HEST light is the visual identification to the operator, identifying the engine will begin to increase exhaust temperatures. The operator should determine if the machine is in an environment that high exhaust temperatures will not damage or ignite the surroundings of the machine. If the machine is located in a safe environment, continue operating the machine as normal and let the engine perform a full regeneration. If the machine is in an environment that is not suitable for high regeneration temperatures, the operator can manually hold the regeneration switch to cancel the active regeneration before exhaust temperatures begin to increase. When the machine is in an area that regeneration can be safely performed, the operator can manually hold down the regeneration switch and restart an active regeneration. A complete regeneration from start to finish will take 30 to 60 minutes. This can vary based on machine age and engine hours. When the HEST light on the display disappears, the regeneration is complete and the machine can now be shut down. Turning the key switch off during an active regeneration will cancel the regeneration. When the machine is started next time, the machine will automatically trigger an active regeneration once the engine meets operating temperatures and coolant temperatures reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Repetitive cancellations of an active regeneration will result in excess soot levels in the particulate matter catalyst. When soot loading in the PMC reaches a level before the machine performance is adversely affected, the regeneration required light will now illuminate on the display when the machine is started. When this light is present on the display, the machine must reach operating temperatures and engine coolant temperatures to initiate an active regeneration. When regeneration is active, the HEST light will illuminate on the display and the machine can be operated as normal. If there's a failure to perform a complete regeneration, the PMC will reach specific soot levels that will result in a level two engine derate and a level three engine shutdown. Level two soot load will derate the engine torque by 75%. The regen is required light and an orange engine light will be illuminated on the display. Regeneration can only be activated by an authorized Wacker Neusen dealer using the Perkins Electronic Service Tool. Level 3 soot load will shut the engine down every 30 seconds. The regen is required lights, an orange engine light and a red engine light will be illuminated on the display. Regeneration can only be activated by an authorized Wacker Neusen dealer using the Perkins Electronic Service Tool. 
To avoid a possible engine derate or shutdown, run the engine at maximum RPMs, put a load on the engine, and if the engine is not being worked for an extended period of time, shut the machine off. This will reduce soot levels in the PMC. Do not cancel an active regeneration if not required. Canceling an active regeneration when not required allows soot levels in the PMC to increase rapidly. Every 20 hours, the engine will automatically trigger an active regeneration. When the HEST light illuminates on the display, allow the engine to complete a full regeneration from start to finish. Do not shut the machine off or cancel an active regeneration.